Mary Ellen and I first met on the set of Milos Forman's film Ragtime in England. And uh, that was the beginning of our 35 years of life together. I was working on a profile of Jimmy Cagney and she came up and she said, I hear you're working on this documentary film about Cagney. And if you go right now to the back of the set there, you'll see him. I just got a great shot of him. And I went as fast as I could. When I got there, Cagney was gone. Mary Ellen got a great shot. Story of my life. <laughs> Mary Ellen had a gift of making a connection with people immediately. It was just a natural gift. She had that, it was just very special. I think really what Mary Ellen tried to do was to bring awareness of the people that don't have a voice. The unfamous, she called them. She never passed judgment on people. It wasn't judgmental. It was just like, this is what it is. When Marilyn died, I felt that I had to make a book that represented the passion of her life. Marilyn would never have made this book. She didn't have the time to make the book. And nor did she ever want to look back. It was always the next project. You know, what Mary Ellen really always tried to do was to find a frame, one iconic picture that would tell the story. When you look at the book, you see that she was very successful at doing that. As great a photographer as I think she was, she was so unsure about herself and about the work that she could never say, oh, I did it, I got it. I'm not sure that she ever felt that she got the picture. She spent a life not knowing whether she'd actually done it. She kept going, just because maybe she would eventually get it. <laughs> 